But like what that definitely promises is adventures and some people getting into trouble and some tension, which always makes for a good plot line. I know that you particularly stepped away from acting for a long time. When you got the call that something like this was about to happen, was it an easy yes? And what was it like slipping back into this character? Um, so it obviously was an easy yes. We've had, you know, an interesting couple of years. And I think this show is what the world needs. We need a warm hug. Um, so yeah, I mean, it, you know, I definitely wanted to reunite with the cast and see what Lorena had been up to for years. And then getting back into it, I don't know. I don't think I she ever left me. She's just older. <laughs> She's the same at her core. And it was just, it was, it was so fun. For me, I it was an easy yes. <laughs> I I, you know, just even the thought of the possibility was surreal. And, you know, getting to see, you know, the actors who played your parents and your and your brothers and sister, you know, growing up like the, the show was so uh, impactful and, and meaningful for me just to be on it when I was younger that there was, I mean, it, it, it was a dream come true being able to relive any of that. I hadn't uh, technically stepped away from acting. I had uh, continued to try to do that for these past 18 years. I had some difficulty getting back into the industry because of the types of roles that I was being offered. Um, it was mostly convict, ex-convict, drug dealer. I can do those roles, but I'm definitely no one's first choice for those. I'm kind of like goofy and affable and just like a fun guy. And so, you know, those, those kind of, it, the fact that it was only those kinds of roles made it difficult. So when Jeff called me and he said, hey, do you want to do a show again with proper representation and no stereotypes? I was like, oh yeah, yes, uh, 100%. Let's, let's do this, can we start now? And Trinity, I know you weren't even alive when his show <laughs> aired. Did you have the chance before you even, you know, started working to go back and watch some of what, you know, he was like when he was your age? Yes, I did. I, get to, I got to see some clips on YouTube and stuff like that. Um, and I really loved it, and I, which is why I felt so lucky and happy to be able to continue the story and play Alexa Garcia. Carlos's, one of Carlos's daughters. I mean, in between when you left the show and when you came back, did you have visions of where you think Lorena would have been and how did that end up, you know, comparing to where she is in the show? I honestly didn't think of where she would land, but Jeff was really great with working uh, with me and some of the writers for just making sure that like, we liked where she was going in terms of her career. You know, it's 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 tough to be a strong, outspoken woman, you know, dealing with, you know, my arch nemesis who, nicest person in real life. So it's very funny, but you know, it, it, it's tough. And so we really, we spoke about those challenges that really do happen in real life. For you, Nitya, what was it like stepping into the show? Do you remember the original show? Because I know that that was such a big moment in time for television, having it be an all Latin cast back, you know, 20 years ago on kids TV was not something you saw. And what was it like for you stepping into this kind of family that was reuniting 20 years later as one of the new cast members? Today when I got the audition and I saw the Garcias, just like the name, like it resonates so much in my heart. I didn't grow up here. I'm from Mexico, 100%. I moved to the States eight years ago. So I had to do my research. And when I saw some of the episodes and the scenes, I totally say like, wow, they look like my family. This is the first time that I'm actually acting in English. So it was a huge challenge for me. And I remember saying, uh, like talking to Bobby, like, oh my god i don't know how am i gonna do it 10 episodes fully english and he was like you're gonna be okay okay i'm gonna be here and the you can see the love on and off screen that's something very authentic we didn't act that this is a show where you can find so much joy so much empathy uh you can easily relate to those characters because we all have families and even though if you don't get along like so much at the end of the day, if today you have a family, you have a big blessing. Well, I have to say you crushed it because I would have never known 
you you two honestly were my favorite dynamic on the show too i lived for your scenes back and forth just the way you would like rib each other but keep each other in check it was perfect and this show has so much representation elsa i was excited when you know i got to see you know carlos ended up marrying an asian woman we get to see your heritage also play into the show i know i just got through episode four and by the end i was just like crying um what does it feel like to be on the show where we have the representation for the latin community and the asian community now given where we were maybe 20 years ago. You know, multiple people have approached me and said, you know, 20 years ago, Carlos might not have had an Asian wife. You know, she might have been Latina. So I feel like what this show did 20 years ago, The Brothers Garcia, was groundbreaking. It's doing that again today and making it relevant to, to today's society. We see so many multicultural families. Like, it's not even a second thought, you know? So to be able to tell those stories on TV and make it normal, like, it's such a privilege to do that. And you're actually, your character is married to one of my childhood crushes, P-Rod. Oh, uh, I used to love, I have a skateboard, I used to love his videos back in the day. What's it like working with him? I mean, he'll probably kill me, but like Dreamboat, just uh, the nicest. Um, you know, I'm bummed we didn't get more screen time together, but he's awesome. And he actually, I don't know if you knew this, but he was in the original show as one of Lorena's crushes. So when the option to like cast my husband came about, I was like, um, we need to get Cutie Pie, like P-Rod back on the show. Um, and it ended up working and it, it's awesome. So there are a lot of like tiny, really fun Easter eggs in the show that if you were an original fan, like you'll see and you'll be like, oh, that, oh, 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 okay. Um, and yeah, it was just great. It was, it was awesome to like have a husband and a son by default. Like it was awesome. <laughs> As we say in Mexico, al mal tiempo, buena cara. That doesn't even make sense.